Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about payloads, gross vehicle weights, towing weights, operators licenses, tachographs, driving license requirements and driver CPC requirements. This video is here to be informative and to bring all of the information together in one place so you don't have to keep searching through the internet and maybe finding what you want, maybe not. Hopefully it will help you. If it does, please remember to subscribe. It will also make it easier for you to find other videos in future. So if you like this, there will be other content that relates to some of these topics we're going to talk about today. To start with, we're going to talk about calculating your payload for your vehicle. It's different for everybody, so you're going to need to do some of your own sums. This will tell you how to work out your payload for your vehicle. As you can see on this plating certificate, this vehicle has a 3,500 kilo gross weight. It weighs exactly 2,000 kilos, as you can see from the Weighbridge screen just here. Simply deduct this 2,000 kilo empty weight from your 3,500 kilo gross weight, giving you 1,500 kilos of payload. This very simple calculation can be used for every vehicle on the road. Every vehicle has a weight plate. It'll either be on a sticker in the door shut, or maybe on the chassis plate, riveted to the front panel under the bonnet. Simply take your vehicle to the weighbridge, get the empty weight for your vehicle, deduct it from the gross vehicle weight, and whatever's left is your payload for your vehicle. There's no point comparing this to somebody else's vehicle because the chances are their vehicle will have a different empty weight. And now, operator's licenses. Basically, if you're going to be working for hire or reward, so if you're going to make any money, any profit whatsoever, and you're going to be over three and a half tonne, either as a vehicle weight or a vehicle and trailer combination weight, then you will need an operator's licence. There are a couple of exemptions to operator's licensing. If you are towing a trailer with a dual purpose vehicle, then you will not need an operator's licence and an operating centre. So what is a dual purpose vehicle? Well, to start with, it must have a second row of seats to be a dual purpose vehicle. The distance from the back edge of the steering wheel to the backrest of the second row of seats must be at least one third of the distance from the steering wheel to the back of the load bed. These back seats must have side windows, totaling a minimum of 1,850 square centimetres. There must be a rear window of at least 770 square centimetres. It must weigh less than 2,040 kilos empty. As soon as your vehicle or vehicle and trailer combination exceed 3,500 kilos, you will need to run a tachograph. This can be digital or analog. You do not have to operate a tachograph if you're operating a vehicle for recovery purposes. However, it has to be a dedicated recovery service. For the recovery exemption, the vehicle that you are recovering must be incapacitated. It must have either broken down, be out of service, or from the scene of an accident to a yard. You can also only do this within 100 kilometres or 62 miles of your base. If your driving duties don't constitute the main part of your working day, then you do not need to operate a tachograph. You are expected to keep a detailed logbook, driving hours, and other work hours. You also don't need to operate a tachograph if you're using it for personal use. That's if you're moving house, if you're going to a, a horse event, if you're driving a historic vehicle. Now your driving licence. If you turn it over to the back you'll see there are various numbers and categories on there. Now we'll start at category B. This is for cars and light vehicles up to 3,500 kilos. Next is category C1. This is for vehicles between 3,500 and 7,500 kilos. Next is category C. This is for vehicles over 7,500 kilos. Now with these three categories, you have an automatic entitlement to tow a trailer up to 750 kilos. Anywhere that you see an E marking after these three categories gives you an entitlement to tow a heavier trailer. For category B vehicles, with an E marking afterwards, you can tow a trailer up to 3,500 kilos behind your vehicle, providing that vehicle 
is equipped and able to do that safely within its train weight. Any C1E or CE markings give you the entitlement to tow heavier trailers above 3,500 kilos. However, they still must stay within the vehicle's design train weight. If your towing vehicle has a maximum gross weight of 3,500 kilos or less, then you can tow a trailer of 3,500 kilos or less behind it. For this weight of tow vehicle, you can also tow a trailer up to 7 metres long. This doesn't include the A-frame, you can add that on. Trailers of this size and weight can use a 50mm ball hitch and overrun brakes. Any heavier than this, you'll need air brakes and a heavier duty hitch. If your tow vehicle has a gross weight above 3,500 kilos, then you can tow a heavier trailer too. You can tow a trailer up to the manufacturer's gross train weight for that vehicle. You can also go over the 7 metre limit. One of the biggest questions is about the driver's CPC. People say that as soon as you go over 3.5 tonnes, you need a driver's CPC. That's not right. You cannot obtain a driver's CPC until you have a C1 licence. That's for vehicles with a maximum authorised mass of 7,500 kilos or more, 7.5 tonne and over. At category B plus E, you can drive vehicles that will operate up to 7 tonnes. This does not need a driver's CPC. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's given you some useful information. There will be some more detailed videos about the exemptions for O-licence, the exemptions for tachographs and some of the other stuff that we've covered too. To make it easier for you to find this in future, please remember to subscribe. Please also hit the like button, it helps me to make more content like this. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.